We are back. Um, all right. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was going to take longer. Ah, uh, because I already I already set up the sound recorder to go because I knew I was I'd been monitoring the time, so I knew. <laughs> Um, just take us a little in detail, um, of guys that you've worked with in the past, um, you know, whether you feel they're a big name or, um, you're, or not a big name that just, you know, bring us, bring us into the business, bring us into the world of the manager and, and dealing with some of these personalities. Well, you know, I'm not one for name dropping. I really don't like to name drop, but, um, I have, but you well, if you guys are asking, um, <laughs> Okay. Which is uh, East Coast Pro Wrestling presents Stronghold Pro Wrestling. It's going to be uh, a charity event for a. Uh, it's called Love for Jake. It's for a kid that's suffering can from cancer. Yes. And trying to raise money to help with the um, medical bills and stuff like that. Um, the kid is, uh, you know, the kid does have cancer, and we're just trying to help raise money for that. Um, it's going to be May third, uh, Saturday night, May third, at the uh, Center Island Sports in Long Kakama, Long Island, New York. Um, Tickets are twenty dollars um, per person, and I'm going to be working with the legendary Tito Santana. It's going to be uh, Dr. Lamar Braxton Porter, who I'm managing, and we're going to be going against uh, Tito Santana, and that's going to be one of the matches there. Um, they said they're going to have. Uh, I think I also saw on there Chris Masters from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. He's going to be signing autographs. Okay. Um, also, uh, who else? Oh yeah, the Patriot. Um, Tom Brandy's going to be there. Uh, also, um, La Parker is going to be there. And uh, Tito Santana also. It's going to be a pretty good, it's going to be an amazing card for, you know, for anybody who wants to come down. Even if you're not a wrestling fan, come down and support it because, again, like I said, we're trying to raise money for this kid who's got cancer. So, you know, it would be appreciative if people can come down and support it. Um, um, but I'm going to be working with him. Uh, I've also worked with uh, Matt Morgan in the past, you know, you know, during my early stages, actually, he was one of the first people I managed in pro wrestling was Matt Morgan. Okay. Back in, I think it was like 2007, I think it was. Um, also, uh, I, I've, I've, you know, I've worked with many people before. I can't even think off the top of my head, but I've worked with a lot of legends before. I think I worked with Eugene also, Nick Dinsmore. Yes. And he deep pants me and I ran around the arena in my underwear. That was actually... <laughs> Oh, thank God for the internet. <laughs> yeah, I was running around in my underwear thanks to thanks to Eugene, and uh, you know that that was an epic moment. Uh, <laughs> let's see, uh, who have I worked? With? Oh my God, there's just so many people I've worked with. I mean, and, and he's he's back in uh, with WWE in the developmental program, correct? Yes, yes, he is actually. He's a trainer, I believe. Wow, that's that's good for him because um, you know. Outside of the whole Eugene character, which you know most people only remember, uh, the guy can wrestle. <laughs> oh, absolutely! He's a phenomenal talent, actually. Uh, despite despite what they show it on TV, he can wrestle, and um, he he's supposed to be a, a very very good teacher of of the uh, of the art. So, uh, kudos to him getting back. Uh, I guess you can say back to the family. Yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, I also quit smoking. I stopped in December, and. Uh, I've been doing uh, electronic cigarettes ever since December, so... Nice. Good luck, well, good luck with that. My cardio's better. I could, uh, I could breathe better. My clothes don't smell like smoke anymore, so, you know, feeling good about myself. So, you know, I'm just glad I finally got to conquer quitting smoking, so, you know. So now you got to get a t-shirt like uh, Brock Lesnar that says, like, eat, sleep, conquer smoking. If you believe if you believe those commercials, yeah, I mean, they, uh, some of those commercials are pretty disgusting. But um, I, if I smoked, those commercials alone would make me stop smoking. Yeah, oh, really, dude. I've been wanting to stop for years. I've been wanting to stop smoking before my kids are born. Now they're going to be eleven and thirteen years old. So oh. <laughs> why would you stop smoking? Yeah. What'd you say? Why did you stop? What happened? I said, why did you stop smoking? 
Well, my kids begged me and begged me and begged me to finally, you know, stop smoking and, you know, um, for the love of my kids, I just want to make them happy. So, you know, not to mention it's also healthier for me not to do it anymore. And I mean, I always used to joke about it and say, you know, my parents always told me not to quit anything. So, you know, uh -huh. <laughs> boy, my parents are pissed when I told them that. They were like, that's not what we meant. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. My parents didn't raise yeah, no my quitter. My parents don't smoke. You know, I'm the only one in my family that actually smokes. <clears throat> Definitely good luck. Yeah, definitely good luck with that. Um, what was your uh, What was your general feel for WrestleMania 30? Um, mainly the streak ending. Shocking. I mean, I have to say the entire card was shocking. I mean, I honestly thought WrestleMania 30 was gonna suck. I mean, it, I mean, it, it, on paper it kind of looked like it was gonna suck, and it actually was very, very good. I, I'm very shocked because, you know. I mean, I don't really watch, I don't really care to watch wrestling anymore, but my kids watch it, so I watch it with them. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, plus I have to watch it because when you're in the business, you have to know what's going on and stuff like right. that. So, but I, I wouldn't really call myself a fan anymore. Um, but, you know, my, my kids are fans, and because they're a fan, I'm living through them now. So it's like I'm a fan all over again, even though I'm really not. <laughs> but uh, it's kind of weird, you know. Uh, I, I, it's hard to WrestleMania 30 was a lot better than I expected. I mean, the last good WrestleMania was WrestleMania 23 before that. And then, you know, WrestleMania 1 through 12 was excellent. And then after that, it started to suck. So, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. The Attitude Era was entertaining, but it wasn't wrestling. To me, the 80s and the territories were wrestling. That, that was wrestling to me. I got to hang out with this guy. Anything, like, <laughs> I say it all the time. I get called old, so. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, <laughs> I, I say it. I said, if you want to watch tits and ass, then you watch the Attitude Era. If you want to watch wrestling, no, you no, watch. No, no, no. If you want to watch tits and ass, <laughs> you, just watch, you just watch illegal porn on the internet. Oh, well, yeah, well. I'm, I'm talking about wrestling-wise. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> I'm not promoting any of that. I'll be, I'll be, getting, a, I'll be getting a call from the FCC in no time. <laughs> Uh, awesome. Um, all right. Any clo any closing questions for uh, for our resident Guido? Anybody? Guido, do you want to come hang out in the Island of Dying? <laughs> oh, I party in Staten Island plenty of times. In fact, me and Marty Janetti party in Staten Island one time. That was actually oh. yeah. <laughs> I mean, he'll party anywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, invitation extended, bro. Invitation extended. No, I, you know, Marty, I love Marty Janetti, man. He's like my brother. Him, him and I. You have to understand, like, he, he's my party buddy. Whenever he comes to New York, we always got a party together. It's just, you know, that's my party buddy right there, man. I love Marty. No. <laughs> go go figure. His name rhymes with party. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> party, party, baby. That's right. <laughs> Nick, did you have anything? I mean, I got a couple gigs coming up, too. I mean, I got another, other than the uh, Stronghold Pro Wrestling event, we also, I'm also doing <laughs> another charity event for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Okay. And, uh, and it's uh, called Natick Wrestling Massachusetts on June the 21st, and it's an epic lineup of major name wrestlers that are going to be there, all for the support of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Um, from, you know, for more information, just come, go to my uh, Facebook page and uh, go to www.facebook.com backslash official Vinny the Guido. Um, all the events that I'm doing is going to be posted on my page. Um, also, I am the owner of Top of the Line Talent Bookings, uh, which is VAZ Enterprises, but it's uh, top of the line talentbookings.com for any independent pro wrestling promotions or, you know, that are looking to, or even, uh, you know, if you're a business owner and you want to do an autograph signing, uh, just go to my website, uh, top of the line talentbookings.com, and, uh, 
you know, you could book major name wrestlers or independent talent from my uh, website, and uh, <clears throat> I'd be more than happy to help you. I am one of the most affordable agents out there, by the way. I'm not going to name drop other agents that are more expensive than me because they know <laughs> who they are, but I am one of the most affordable agents to book uh, wrestling talent from if you're looking to put on an event or anything like that. So, again, go to www.topofthelinetalentbookings.com for more information and uh, take a look at who I, have, who I represent. And if you're interested in booking anybody, just let me know. All right, awesome. Uh, Nick, did you have any closing questions? Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, no. it's definitely insightful into the in, another look into the business compared to other guests that we've had on the show. So, I mean, we definitely appreciate the, the insight. No, uh, uh, it's not great. No problem at all, man. Like I said, I shoot from the hip. I say it like it is, and uh, I don't give a fuck. So. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's, that's what we like here. We, we like somebody who's just brutally honest, you know? Yeah, that's, you know, that's the way it is. I mean, if people hate me for speaking the truth, then maybe they need to change stuff about themselves. I yeah. don't know. Uh, Sugar coating is for candy makers. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. exactly. All right, we, we appreciate you coming on. Um, um, maybe we can get you to come on again, uh, you know, a little bit after your uh, charity event that you're going to be doing. Um, I think that was um, uh, Thomas Cole, I think, is one of the guys uh, taking care of that stronghold. Uh, yes, to, to, uh, Thomas Coe, actually. Coe, Thomas Coe. Also, he's the uh, promoter for Stronghold Pro Wrestling. Yeah, you can tell him to reach out to us. Um, I have, we have no problem promoing that on the air for him. We did a AJ Styles signing yeah, for him. Like said, you guys should come down to the show, man. It's going to be a really good show. We, we you know, you never know. We might have to. I mean, we just, you know, we. we yeah, like I said, it's for it's for very good cause. This kid's got cancer, man. This kid Jake has got cancer. We man. we just like packing the car and just going on road trips. So. Yeah, and not to mention, it's going to be a good night. It's going to be a nice, fun family evening for you know, it's a nice family oriented show. It's going to be, you know, you're going to see some legends there and stuff like that, and uh, you know, what like I said, doing? even Chris Masters is going to be there signing autographs from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. So. You know, it's going to be a fun-filled evening, and it's going to be for a good cause. So please come down, everybody, even if you're not a wrestling fan. Just come down and support this kid, man, because this kid needs all the help he can get at this point. You, you said know? that was May 3rd? It's a little kid named Jake. He's a little kid named Jake, and he's got cancer. And it would mean a lot to me, and it mean a lot to the boys if you come down and help support the cause. Because, you know, it's just... It's just something that, I mean, I even told the promoter, I even told Thomas Coe, usually he pays me because he's, you know, he, you know, he, he pays me, but I, I told him, keep the money and give it to the kid. I said, K keep the money and give it to the kid because, you know, to me, that, that would mean, that, to me, that means more to me than, than the money. You know what I mean? I mean, <clears throat> I just like doing good things. I like doing charity stuff and, you know, I try to get back to the community and a lot of people don't do that these and it's sad because, you know, I mean, it, just, just to do something good makes you feel good about yourself. And I just hope more people are like that. I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, I could be a trendsetter maybe, you know. <laughs> a, a positive trendsetter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, cool. Um, yeah, ha guys, have thank him. you so much for having me on yeah, the show. Yeah, definitely, definitely, man. definitely looking forward to coming back on your show again. And uh, maybe we could talk about ring rats and, uh, and uh, we could talk about road stories next time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, Vin. I appreciate it. Give us a call in the future. Oh, wait, and let me close out the show by saying this. Oh, boy. Other, people, other people's misfortune is my entertainment. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, Vin. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in for the extended play. Remember, you can download both these segments at Spreaker.com backslash damage underscore athletics. Uh, this will be listed as episode number 16B, uh, more with Vinny the Guido. That's what it will be, that, 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 that's what it will be titled. Um, on behalf of Nick the Beard and JT, remember, ladies and gentlemen, to, to control the nitwit population and have your friends spayed or neutered. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. <laughs>